Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to draw a grid like this one with tick marks below and at the side here. So I'll select all this and delete it so we can start from scratch. I'll start with the Bezier pen tool and draw my vertical grid lines. Click, control to constrain the vertical. Click again, then enter. Select tool. I'm going to duplicate that, uh, let's say, uh, five times. So I'll control D, one, two, three, four, five. Then holding down control, I'll drag to where I want the furthest to the right grid line. I'll drag a marquee around all those under the align and distribute menu, control shift A to bring that up. I'll distribute that equally horizontally by clicking this icon here and click away. There we have it. I'll turn on the snapping tools and ensure snap to grid is up to cusp node is on. Click the busy pen tool again, click and click there and enter. Select tool. I might want to duplicate that uh, four times or have four spacing, spacing, so I'll duplicate it four more times. One, two, three, four. Drag the last one up to there. Leave it selected and hold down the shift key just to select all these horizontal ones as well and space those out vertically. And then we have our grid. Now you can do any number of duplications. If you wanted 20 spacings, you duplicate 20 more times and so on. Now if I want to create tick marks, I'll hold down the Alt key and just drag a line along there. And that just selects all the things the red line crossed. I'll turn off snapping because sometimes it snaps to no length. And just drag the tick marks to what I want there. I'm using the mouse wheel to, and control to zoom in and out and holding the mouse wheel to pan. Back to the Alt key and I'll select these lines, everything it touches is selected. Zoom in and just drag those out for tick marks there. That's how I create tick marks. If I wanted uh, the horizontal axis and the vertical axis a bit thicker than the others, go to fill and stroke and the stroke style, thicken those up a bit, say 0.5. I might want to put an arrow on them so I can just drag that out a bit and change the end to an arrow point. Same with this one, I can drag it out a bit. Now, I think it was the other end that I need to put the arrow on. Yep, that's right, I'll just drag it out a bit more. If you don't see an arrow head, it's probably put it on the wrong end, just change that back to a line and put the arrow on the other one. Okay. I probably need uh, labels on those axes, so I'll just type uh, T for text tool, type X, and just zoom in a bit, select that, and control R I to make it italic. And there's my X, control C to copy, come up here, control V to paste. T for text tool, change that to a Y, and that looks about right. You can always increase the size of any, any of those, just clicking on it, Control shift to drag, size, or Control z And we just need numbers along the tick marks, T for text tool, click, type a zero, and I'll make it centered, and select tool, and I want it uh, lined up with that axis there. So I'll shift click the axis while the zero is selected. Under align and distribute, select uh, center on a vertical axis. Didn't see much happening because I had it probably pretty accurate. But uh, I need to duplicate this five times as well. Control D, one, two, three, four, five times. And drag one of them, control, hold down control to there. Shift click that line and a line on a vertical axis so they're all lined up and just select the zeros there and distribute them equally horizontally using that icon there. T for the text tool to edit them to whichever numbers you want. I'll just go in ones and the same on the vertical axis. I'll just zoom in a bit, control D 
and to duplicate and I'll just drag it into position there shift click that axis and align them their middles, that's ok select just the zero, not the axis, we don't want five ax more axes on the spot control D, one, two, three, four, five and control drag one of them ok, I'll zoom out control drag it up to say here shift click that line and then align their middles and we're going to go back and select all the zeros on the vertical axis and distribute them equally vertically click off and then T for text tool actually I have seem to have marked up there one two three I did four didn't I not five pardon me control Z to a couple of times there might just <laughs> delete all those zeros and start again T for text tool I can start from scratch and zero and I might actually right justify it back to T for text tool if I get into double figures that's where I want them aligned on the right select tool and say there shift click line the middles click away now this time it's four times control D one two three four and control drag control drag I hit the wrong key there and there shift select that line line the middles zoom out select them all and make the vertical spaces even that's better T for the text tool actually I'll go up in um, fives just to show you what I mean with the right justification so if I go five ten you see they're now right justified fifteen and twenty and that looks pretty neat so there's how you can produce a nice grid with tick marks and axis labels and uh, values on the axes as always thanks for watching